Now let's just look how we do rect source x. Mm, we're gonna create a rectangle. Equals to new rectangle. In current frame times width. And the y value is gonna be zero. X times source X. I should have gotten this plus the width, which is 16. And the image height is going to be 16 since it is 16 pixels high. So it's going to draw a rectangle that is 16 by 16 pixels. Rectangle. Sorry about that new rect. Can we start draw bitmap? <coughs> PMP source. PMP command source command this. And I think it's gonna be null. I'm gonna draw the other rectangle. Uh, do we really have to? Oh yeah, it's gonna be the position of the player. Sorry about that. Of course we need that. X, Y. X plus width and Y plus 16. So this is gonna draw from the player, the bi uh, sorry about the bitmap, rectangle 16 by 16, and this rectangle is going to draw the position of the player. Let's see what's wrong with this. We've got an error over here. It's because we have a double variable instead of the int. So unfortunately we have to change our x, y, width, etc. to an int variable. I'm gonna make it really fast, but find and replace everything. And let's see if it gets fixed. Yes. I'm gonna set x speed to minus game view dot global x speed and we're gonna set a uh, public global x speed equals to 15 I'm gonna make it an int Basically, this is gonna 
get the xpeed value from our game view class and set it to minus the value and it and the x position will be updated according to the x speed which is minus 15 I can remove this now it is time to create the bitmap of our coin and our list basically this is the same process as we did with our player so it's gonna get go really fast equals new array list coin I'm gonna go down here where we initiated our player BMP. Bitmap factory. Auto trouble dot coin. Bitmap, let's see. Oh, well, let's build our project first, so it's... There we go. Now I believe it should work. Great field coin. I believe that the reason why the coin value isn't gives a I'm I'm I'm, I'm 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 assuming that the reason why we get an error from this is because we still have an error error in our coin object. So let's see. Go like speed. Nope. Global X speed is not a value. Of course it is. Yeah, there we go. And our coin value worked too. Let's do what we did to the player object here. Instead, we're gonna have four coin. Coin this. Let's name CC coins. CC coins. These ones, these ones. Let on draw canvas. This is gonna make our coin draw itself. And let's just add some coins to the screen. Let's have it at the position 120 and 250. And let's have this coin at about 200 and mm, 50 x value. Now let's compile and run our project and see if it works. Oh. Let's see. Crafting the black speed. X speed equals two. Oh right. I forgot to call the update method in our class. And for some reason it only showed 
half the height of our coins. And I'm pretty sure it didn't animate because we didn't call the update method. So our current frame didn't get updated. Updated. Let's see. Uh, well, it should work. Let's see what happens when we run it now. We can still jump though. So that's good. They did move though. They didn't go back to zero. The current frame, I believe, because they just disappeared. So let's try something else. If our current frame equals to more or the same as our um, column width. Minus one. Set the current frame to zero. Else update it. Update it by one. And we're just gonna make sure that if our the x position of our coin is less than zero, we're gonna set it to the canvas that get width, so we're gonna set it at the other border of the screen. X equals to game view dot get width. That's our width. Now let's see if it works. It should. There we go, they're spinning real fast, but still, it's animated. And we're gonna try and fix <laughs> The coin height, let's see what happens if we do this. <coughs> there we go, everything works for now. We can jump. We have two coins. They are moving. They are spinning. Yeah, that was pretty much all from this video. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe and leave a comment below.